I'm here with Congresswoman Julia Letlow. How yes. are you? I'm so good. Wow, that was electric being up on that stage today. It was awesome. What was the audience like? Oh. You can hear them cheering right now. Oh, my goodness. It was amazing. So this is my first experience in D.C., and um, it was just electric. I, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. So yeah. why was it important for you to be here today? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, I am, I've always considered myself to be pro-life. I grew up in a strong Christian family who taught me those values young. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't until I became a mother and I held my firstborn child for the first time and, and just saw the miracle that is life that I knew it wasn't enough for me to just say that I'm pro-life. I wanted to be a true advocate for the cause. And uh, now serving in Congress, I get to do that every single day and fight for the, those who don't have a voice. What has that been like, serving in Congress? Let's talk about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, there is a lot of darkness right now, as you know. Um, but, you know, God calls us to be a light. And uh, that I'm just making sure that um, I'm fighting every day to, to make sure that we're fighting for those who don't have a voice, like I said, the unborn. Um, so there, there is a bit of darkness, but I want you to be encouraged. Uh, there is light, and we, are, we will prevail. You don't hear that a lot in politics. I want you to be encouraged. That's great. Well, it's interesting, too, because obviously the Supreme Court right, right. now, they're going to be making a big determination on Roe in June. Right. Right. And leading up to that, what's going on in Congress? I'm kind of interested yeah. to hear behind the scenes, the sure. energy, the conversation. Sure. Sure. Well, there's a lot of nervousness on the other side of the aisle, as you can imagine, but the momentum is so great for us. I mean, and you think about it, the last 48 years, all of the people that have led up to this one moment in time and worked so hard, and you know, I can't help but think about them over those years thinking, gosh, what is this even mattering, what I'm doing, getting up every day and fighting? And uh, yes, it has, because here we are for such a time as this, and leading up to this very moment, I could not be more ecstatic, and I just want to encourage people. This is the perfect example of why you should never give up. I love that. All right, last question sure. for you. As you're kind of entering into Congress, entering into this political arena, right. and I love to ask people this because yeah. it's sort of a 30,000 foot question, but sure. what is your, what do you want your legacy to be? You're at the start of it, but what are you hoping the impact is of your service? Right. I just, if people say one thing about me is that um, she served her people and it, it wasn't about her. I think if, if they say that about me, then then I've done everything that I was supposed to do here. That's powerful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Everyone else, make sure you continue watching the live stream. That's right.